Hello everyone and welcome. You know, for a while now, some of you guys have been asking me to do a DIY video showing how to install canned or recessed ceiling lights. Well, I've been putting that off for a while because personally, I don't like canned lights. They always give you a harsh downward light, which I don't care for, and they also have a terrible glare that can be very annoying. But then I came across these lights from Roland Light, which are totally different. It seems that canned lights have come a long way and have totally changed with the advent of LED lighting. These lights that I'll be using in this video are compact, lightweight, and can be placed in the tightest of ceiling spaces because they're only one inch in thickness. On top of that, they allow you to adjust the lighting to any temperature or color that you want. So for you guys that ask for a canned lighting installation video, let's get started and see how these lights perform. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open these guys up and see how they perform. All right, so when you open up the box, this is what you get. Six lights and six controller boxes, but it's too messy to have them all right here at the same time. So let me move it aside so it doesn't look so cluttered. All right, guys, now that I got things a little bit more cleared up, let's talk a little bit about these lights before we start doing some installation. Now, this is the recessed light kit from Roland Light, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this six pack that I just showed you right now retails for $99.99. But they also have a $15 discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. Now, if you don't want a six pack, they do have a one pack where you can buy just one of these lights by itself. But that's 25 bucks. I think a six pack is a much better deal, even if you don't use all the lights at the same time. You can put them away because you're still saving money by getting it a better price. Anyway, so what you get in this package is you get the six lights, you get six controller boxes, you get a template for drilling the hole for installation of the lights, and you get an owner's manual that tells you everything about the light, the installation, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. Now, the dimensions on these lights are very, very compact. You're looking at 6.7 inches all around because it is a circle, so 6.7 in each direction, under 7 inches. And the thickness of the lights is only 0.63 inches, so under three quarters of an inch. That's how thin these lights are. And I'll show you more of the back and the angles and all that in just a little bit. The warranty on these guys is five years. These lights put out 1,100 lumens of flicker-free RGB lighting, which is comparable to a 120-watt incandescent bulb. But these guys only consume 13 watts. That is extremely energy efficient. The CRI, or Color Rendering Index, is 80+, plus, which is pretty high in the industry, and can create up to 16 million different colors. So these RGB lights are really, really great at creating just about any kind of lighting that you want. The lighting temperature ranges from 2700K warm light to 6500K cool light, and they are dimmable from 1% to 100%. These guys only need six inch cutout. Like you said, the light itself is six inches, but the back of it is a little bit smaller. That's why you only need six. This ring will hide any imperfections in the cut that you make in the ceiling or wherever you put it. And they only need one inch of clearance from insulation because they are IC rated to be mountable close to any insulation without being a fire hazard. That makes it very convenient, unlike a lot of the older can lights where you had to have a lot of clearance around them because they were very hot and very prone to causing potential fires. These guys can also be used and mounted in damp areas like kitchens, bathrooms, or outdoors under soffits. So you can use them anywhere you want, indoors or outdoors. These guys can be easily controlled by a wall switch or a free downloadable app. But you can also control them by voice command using Alexa, Google, or Siri. How cool is that? The downloadable app allows you to turn the lights on and off, but it also allows you many more features, such as creating different zones in your house, creating schedules to turn the lights on and off, changing the colors and mood of the lighting, sync the lighting to music, and many more features. So these lights are not your typical canned or recessed lights that I used to dislike. With these lights, you can have the lighting that you want depending on the room that you're using them in. Change the colors to match the mood or the decor of the room. Turn them on remotely so it looks like someone's home even if you're not. 
sync the lights to the music, and make your parties much more festive. Your imagination is the only limit. So let's take a little closer look at these guys, let's install them and see how they perform. Alright, so before we start getting to the installation, let's take a little closer look at these lights. Now you see it has a nice little frosted lens in the middle, that's the plastic part, but the body of the light itself is metal, which is pretty good, unlike some of the cheapy lights out there which are all plastic. This is the metal powder coated body right here, which is very nice. The installation couldn't be any easier than anything else. I mean, this is super easy. No screws or anything involved. You have these little compression clamps on the sides that what you do is when you install them, when you mount them, all you do is open up these little clamps right here and then you just let it close on whatever it is that you're mounting it to, whether it's drywall or some kind of composite material, wood, whatever it happens to be, depending on your location, these little cl spring clamps right here are all that do the job and they hold it in place. It has a nice little rubber seal right here so it'll seal up the area once you mount it. That's very cool right there. Like I said, the back of the body is metal so that's pretty convenient. And you can see right there how thin they are. That is less than three quarters of an inch. You can mount that in just about any location. And one thing that I'll point out, looking at these guys myself right now before I install them, one thing to make your life a whole bunch easier. When you're gonna go install them, Make sure that these guys are pushed all the way to that side where that little ringlet is right there. Because sometimes they may be over to this side, this way, and they may pop out on you. So to make your life easier, before you start even handling them, push them all the way that way so that the ringlet is locked in right against the corner. That way there's no way they can come off on you as you're doing the installation. That's one little tip right there that I noticed just by looking at them. They can move side to side, push it all the way to that side so this guy is locked in place. That'll make your life easier. All right, so let's start installing these guys and see how they perform. All right, guys, so let's figure out the mounting and so forth and see everything that you need to do to get these lights set up. Now, as far as mounting them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mock it up right here on this piece of drywall that I have here because if I was to install it on the ceiling or a soffit or something like that, the camera angles would be a little weird and it'd be probably harder for you to see everything that I'm doing. So I'm going to mock it up here where I have more control and that way you can see better everything that I have to do. Now here I have a piece of drywall. This is 5 16 drywall which is pretty thick and these lights say that they can be mounted on any kind of material from very thin all the way up to very thick double drywall like this which is the thickest that you're going to get. This is your typical uh, fireproof drywall that you use like in a garage or something like that to make sure that you control any kind of fire outbreak in that area. So this is about as thick as you're going to get right here. So anyway, what you do is you start off with your template and you pick exactly where you want to mount your light, put down your template, and then you trace it out to make it easy for you to see everything that you're going to do. And there you go. Make a nice dark ring so it's easy for you to see everything that's going on. And then what you do is you pull out your 6-inch hole saw. Oh, wait, you don't have a 6-inch hole saw? Well, neither do I. As luck would have it, I do have a hole saw kit but it only goes up to five inches. Now, I'm not going to go out and buy a six inch hole saw for this, and neither should you, because there are much easier ways to do this. What you do is, if you have one of these guys, which is a drywall hole saw, you can cut it out with one of these guys. Regardless of the size that you need, this guy will do everything that you need. So here it is. I'm going to show you how to do it this way. But if you have a hole saw, obviously it's so much easier. Put it on the drill, drill it through, and you're all done. But for you guys that don't have it, all you do is basically start off making a hole with your drill. And then get rid of some of the drywall so you can see exactly what you're doing. And then you just start cutting with your hole saw. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. And there you have it. That's the hole that you need to cut out with the hole saw. You see, it's not that hard. Obviously, it's harder for me because I had to hold down this piece. But if you're cutting into a piece that's mounted on the wall or a ceiling, it's going to be held in place for you, so it's going to be so much easier to do.
All right, now, so let's move on to the electrical part and installing the light. Now, this is super easy to do. Most of the time, you're going to have a couple of wires coming out of the ceiling, generally a black and a white wire, and you're going to hook that up to the controller box. Now, I'm not going to get super deep into this because some of the viewers may not be comfortable doing electrical stuff. If you're not, don't do it. Simple as that. Very easy to do. Call an electrician, have them take care of it for you. If you're comfortable doing DIY stuff like a couple of wires, it's super easy to do. This is the controller box that comes with it, and it's easy enough. There's no tools needed. All you do is open it up, and you have the wires in here. Again, a black and a white, and a ground if you have that accessible in your installation. And it has these little quick connects. All you do is slip the wire into there, and you're good to go. It's that easy to do. Then what you do is, first of all, you're going to have to get it into the box. I should have said it has a couple of knockouts, one on each side, one on this side, one on that side. Depending on the wiring in your application, you may have to knock out one of these guys, just push it in and it comes out. Simple as that. You push it in and it falls right out. And then, like I said, push the wiring in through there, hook it up to these guys, close up the box, and you're good to go. It's that easy to do. If you're not comfortable, don't do it. Electricity is something that's dangerous for some people. They don't want to mess with it. Perfectly fine. Don't do it. Then what you're going to do is hook this up to the light. Easy to do. All you do is line up the little tab right there with the little insert on this guy, line it up, and slip them together. Take the little plastic nut, close it up, and that's it. You basically just did all the wiring needed for this light. You're going to have some electrical wires coming out of here. Then all you do is slip it into the ceiling. Just slip it on in there. These guys will go in. You slip it in, and then all you do is take the little tab there, push it down, then take this little tab and push it down. And that's it. You successfully installed one of these lights. It's that easy to do. Now I'm going to put this up on the ceiling and so forth so you can see exactly how that looks when it's mounted up. And then if you're curious what it looks like from the inside of the ceiling, this is why I mocked it up this way so I can show you better. This is a light right here installed in the hole that we just cut. This is the back of the drywall. And you see these little spring clamps. This is all that holds it in place. This is the electrical box. You don't need to secure it anywhere. You just push it up into the ceiling. Gravity will hold it there. And here you have the electrical wires that you installed coming out of there, going to the remainder of your house, wherever they go to. They're going to be coming out of somewhere, and you just let them run free. All this up in the ceiling, which is very tight, it'll be closed off. There's generally just a little bit of space, generally like a 2 by 4 or a 2 by 6 2 by 8 depending on your construction. But that is how small it's going to be. So I couldn't show you this inside the ceiling. So all you do is push it up, whatever is comfortable for you. If there's any insulation, you may need to move it around so you can push this up into that area. But from this one hole, you can do everything. You see how easy it is. Just the spring clamps, that's it. You're done. Very, very easy installation. All right, guys. So there we have the light mounted up. I put it up against the ceiling right there, the plywood ceiling of my garage, so you can see what it looks like when it's fully installed. And that's what it looks like. It's a handsome looking light, does a very nice job. So what I wanted to do is basically mock it up and show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you the workings of it in a moment, but I'm going to get up there right now and I'm going to show you exactly how tight against the ceiling I put it so you can see the minimal amount of space that you need to be able to install this light. The more space, the better, obviously, but if you have very tight area, you can still do it. Let me get up there and I'll show you even closer. Okay, here we are right up against the light. I'm going to stick the camera right up there. I can't even put my head up there. But you can see exactly how small an area you need to be able to install this light. I have it right up against the ceiling there, right up against the plywood. It's only about an inch and a half or so of space that I'm using. But you can see right there how well that works for really confined areas. So now let's take a look at how the light works. All right, guys. So once you have the light set up and you're ready to get started, you're going to have to start downloading the app to get it set up. Now, all you have to do is basically go into the owner's manual that comes with these lights. And right in there, you're going to have a QR code that you scan and it'll take you to the different uh, app stores, whether it's iOS or Android. Download the app and you're up and running. Just like any other app, install it, create an account, all that kind of stuff. Tell it the password for your Wi-Fi and you're off and running. Some of you may not even need to download the app. You may already have it, like I already had it on my phone, so I didn't even need to do this step. The Smart Life app works with a whole lot of smart appliances and stuff like that for your home, so you may already have it there. In that case, all you need to do is go in and add the new device. 
And once you power up the device, it'll start searching for the app. So that's easy enough to do right there. I didn't even have to read this, but if you do, it has a whole lot of different color pictures and stuff like that. Very detailed explanation. Go through this and you'll have no trouble whatsoever. It's a very detailed, very thick little booklet, as you can see right there. A thick little booklet and it's all in English. It's not even in different languages. So a lot of times you'll get a really thick booklet, but it's a lot of languages. This one is all dedicated to North American English. So you'll have no trouble whatsoever. Read through it. Any confusion? It's all spelled out in there. So let's go check out the license, see how they work. All right. So now I'm going to show you how the light works. I'm just going to turn it on a couple times and then I'll show you the app and show you how that works as well. So let me turn off the lights that I have here in the garage. And then I'm going to turn out that light and you'll see exactly how bright this guy really is. And there you have it. Look at how bright this guy is. It lights up the whole room. Look at that. It gives you a lot of lighting right there. That is really a good, strong light. 1100 lumens. That gives you plenty of light right there. And then I have the app right here, which I'll show you more in just a moment. But basically, if I want to go through it, you can rotate and change the coolness of the light if you want to make it cooler if you want to make it dimmer you can dim it right in the app you don't have to do it outside the app and you can adjust the colors there you go i'm just going through the color wheel right here and you can adjust the colors on the color wheel very conveniently so i'm going to show you a little bit better how the app works in just a second all right, guys, so here we are looking at the light installed on the ceiling in my garage, and this light is hooked up directly to a plug. It has no light switch controlling it, no dimmer, no anything. It's just getting straight power from the wall. But I'm going to show you all the different things that you can do using the app, and there's a lot more. I'm just going to go through a few basic things, but there's a lot more things you can do with this app. For example, you can use it as a dimmer. Like on the app itself, you can go through and control how much light you want or don't want. You dim it up, up, down, whatever you want to do. You can control the warmth of the light. For right now, I have it on the warm light. You can move it over to a cooler light if you want to go that way. And that way you have a much cooler lighting. But let's say you don't want to have white. You want something a little more exciting. Then you switch over to the color spectrum. And there you can adjust all the different colors. And it has a color wheel that you can go through. And I'm sure you can fine tune it to whatever color you want. But right here, you just go through the wheel. And I'm just uh, rotating through the wheel showing you the different colors that are available. But uh, like I said, it's something you can fine tune, go through it and adjust it to whatever you want to do. But really, really cool right there. You can set up any mood you want for any particular room. And there's obviously more adjustments you can make with this as far as changing the brightness and so forth and everything else right here in this area where the color schemes are. You can do a lot more adjusting there as well. So there's a lot of changes and modifications you can do. And like I said, you can turn the light on and off. Like right now it's on. I can just click the button and turn it off. Or I click the button, turn it back on again. And you can go through and you can adjust all the different scenes. You can adjust a lot of different things you want. What do you want for reading or working? It has scenes already set up that you can adjust to be whatever it is that you want it to be. And you can go through motion sync. You can do a lot of different things with this guy. And it will adjust to whatever it is that you want it to do. So that's very, very cool right there. Very convenient. So there you go. If you want to play around with the app and stuff like that, you can go crazy and experiment and do all sorts of different things that you want to do with it. All right, guys, there you have it. For you guys that asked for a DIY installation video of recessed lighting, I not only gave you a full installation video, but I also gave you a review and demonstration of the Roland Light recessed lights. I think these lights are really cool. I've always hated recessed lights, but I really enjoy these lights. They're very bright at 1100 lumens, plus they're very energy efficient, only consuming 13 watts per light. They can also be adjusted to fit any mood you want in any room you want, since each light in each room can have a separate schedule or mood depending on how you program it. They also work great for giving your home that extra security, since they can be set up to go on and off automatically. You can also turn them on and off remotely if you want. So for under a hundred bucks, this six pack of light, it's really a great deal in my opinion. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.